folks, it's Jake here at Canadian Cutting Edge, and I've got a knife that I have enjoyed quite a bit for about two and a half weeks, uh, well, maybe it's three weeks now. The Y-Start LK5010 in just plain old gray satin blade, saber grind, um, upswept tip, titanium handle scales, frame lock, feels good in just about any hand. I've had different people try this out and everybody has said that it's comfortable in their hand. That's from somebody with a small hand. Um, you know, my wife who's got small ladies hands. Well, for ladies hands, hers are you know, right between small and medium, I guess. Uh, men with medium sized hands, large, extra large hands, everybody finds this knife at least fairly comfortable, if not very comfortable. So what do we have here? We've got 440C stainless steel. So none of that, I bet you it's D2 when it's questionable if it really is or not. 440C is a good stainless steel. You know, it's not superb. It used to be a premium steel 75 years ago, <laughs> but metallurgy just keeps bounding forward in leaps and bounds. So it's what used to be a great steel. So that means it does have good properties. It's a reasonably good steel. It's a very good budget steel, if you ask me. In the budget category, it's right up there. And uh, I think you might enjoy this knife. I reviewed a Tanto version of this Y-Start. Um, not exactly the same, very similar handle. Uh, of course, a Tanto blade. That's a different review. Uh, check up in the corner right there. There's a little white circle with an exclamation mark in it. Click on that and you can see that Tanto video. Otherwise, stick around for the full review of this video. No, the full review of this knife. Ugh. Sometimes my brain goes... <laughs> Let's have some fun. If you're not aware, GearBest has got a big sale going on as I release this video. It's their... Uh, double 11 sale that they have. I've got links below in the description. Uh, here's a little screenshot of what their sale screen looks like. If you are going to be buying from GearBest in any time soon, or even just interested, maybe you've never been there before, check them out. If you are a new customer, they're going to give you $100 in coupons. Uh, that's to cover a, a wide variety of different types of items that they have in their store. Uh, not everybody's going to use all $100, that's for sure, but, you know, there's some stuff there for everybody. This sale, you've got all kinds of good stuff going on. You could win an electric bicycle. Not electric, yeah, electric bicycle. That's worth over $500. US You can win your purchase, other coupons, other prizes, all kinds of stuff. Let's talk about this blade now. I am enjoying this knife an awful lot. What we have is stone wash on the flats. And on this one, unlike the Tanto, you've actually got a Y start on the blade right there. And I like that an awful lot. And that's the only writing on the knife anywhere. It would have been nice maybe on the Ricasso there for them to put 440C or something. That'd be nice. You've got this nice scalloped titanium. It looks really cool. Provides really good purchase. Almost parallel lines. It gets a little thicker at the back than it is at the front here. So it just widens out this way a little bit right here. Um, maintains the thickness here. Nice huge lanyard hole. You can put, you know, 1100 paracord through there. You know, the stuff that's got uh, uh, 11 strands of paracord. <laughs> All you need is a flat driver to uh, adjust the uh, screws on here. You can even use a flat on this. It's got sort of a Y kind of shape, three prong shape, but a flat driver, as long as it fits the thickness very well, you can adjust this no problem with just a standard flat driver. You don't need a fancy Y shaped driver. So yes, it's got technically a proprietary screw, but it's not proprietary in the sense of how you can use it. No problem at all. And then you've got Torx on the pocket clip and on this over travel stop, if you ever wanted to take that out for some reason. 
Not only is that the over travel stop, that's also the steel interface for the lockup between the blade and the knife. Because titanium sometimes pr produces a uh, lock stick when it's just the titanium lock arm meeting up with the tang of a blade. And so that one piece of steel does both jobs. I, I wish they would have screwed it in from the inside and then it would be sort of hidden. That'd been really cool. Yeah, you'd have to take the knife apart to adjust it, but you never need to adjust that. So I really wish they would have put it in from, screwed it in from the inside. Maybe that's an update in the future that they can do. That would be really nice. Other than that, everything looks really nice. The fit and finish is great. You've got sort of hourglass shaped uh, open pillar design here. Though, so these pillars here have got a nice kind of shape to them. That's nice. All the edges are chamfered. They're comfortable. Nothing sharp in the hand. Feels good no matter which way you want to grip this knife. Either hand feels really good. It's easy to uh, flip and unlock in my left hand. You know, just as easy. Well, maybe not just as easy, but almost as easy it is as it is in my right hand. But the uh, pocket clip is only right side tip up. You don't have an option for the left side. Um, would have been nice if they would have given that option as well, but they wanted, I guess, to make that show side super clean. We've got, um, I've mentioned, no, I didn't mention. It's a saber grind, so it's a flat grind that comes up two thirds of the way. That's nice. You've got ceramic ball bearings in here, my friends. Yes, ceramic. That's part of the reason why the price is a little bit higher than some of the really cheap knives that uh, I review sometimes on this channel. Let's talk about the lockup. Lockup is solid. It's uh, nice and early, exactly where I want it to be. Not, not too early, and yet it's got lots of room for wear. Uh, blade centering is very good. No problems there. It's easy to adjust. I already mentioned that if you need to. Um, let's talk about the sizes of everything. We'll just zoom in a little bit here. We've got cutting edge of 8.83 centimeters. That's almost three and a half inches, 3.49. The uh, blade length, so the end of the handle here where the tip is to the tip of the blade, 8.77 centimeters, which is 3.45 inches, so a little bit less than the length of the cutting edge. The uh, blade thickness is 3.5 millimeters, which is 0.135 inches. The thickness of the edge behind the grind, oh, why start? You let me down a little bit. I was hoping that it would come a little bit thinner at the edge. It's 0.69 millimeters, which is 0 0.027 inches. Very strong and robust. Very good for this 440C to, you know, not chip or roll over anything. But if it was a little bit thinner, I'd like it even more. Very nice stabby tip that you've got up here. The spine of the blade um, has a chamfer right here. So it's got a chamfer that comes in and then the chamfer ends. So you've got the full width here, full width here, comes down to the tip. Now let's talk about the handle. Handle length is 12 centimeters, that's 4.7 inches. The grip area is 10 centimeters, which is 3.9 inches. The handle thickness, not counting the pocket clip, is 1.14 centimeters, which is 0.45 inches. And the total length of this knife when it's open is 20.9 centimeters, almost eight and a quarter inches. It weighs 104 grams, which is, drum roll please, only 3.7 grams, the ounces. <laughs> 104 grams is 3.7 ounces, which is not bad at all. That titanium handle scales help lighten it up. Um, I can show you the inside of this knife now. You can see those ceramic ball bearings. You can also see that I, they didn't skeletonize or, you know, mill out the inside of these liners to save a little bit of weight because 3.7 ounces is not bad at all. It's awesome. Uh, the uh, center of gravity is, you know, just, there we go. Right at the uh, choil for your index finger right there. 
nice weight on it uh, as far as the centering of the weight. Feels really good in the hand. Price is $73 and uh, is it one cent or seven cents Canadian? $73 Canadian, $57.54 US. In euros, it's $49.18 and in pounds, it's $43.97. All of those numbers are variable and they're subject to change just a little bit as the economy in different countries goes back and forth and up and down. But that's roughly the prices. That is your basic full price. You can save 10% by using the coupon code OUT10OFF. I'll put that on the screen. Use that at checkout. That works for everything in the outdoors category. That's your camping equipment, all kinds of stuff. 10% off of everything that's regular price for the rest of 2017. Not bad if you ask me. If you use that coupon code on something that's on a flash sale, the coupon fo code forces the system to register the normal price for the item and then give you 10% off. There's all kinds of great coupon codes right now with GearBest. You check out that sale page. Oh, there's links below. I've got like five different links for different sections of the sale uh, for whatever suits you best. Uh, what do I think of this knife? I really like those ball bearings. I do want to tell you that you need to take it open up this pivot and put in some Loctite. If you don't, that screw will creep loose and then your blade centering will keep coming off and it'll come and rub on the side. And it doesn't take very long at all. Uh, you can open it for you know, 15, 20 times and it'll start to creep. So you wanna get the red thread locker. That's the temporary hold. That holds strong enough that it's not gonna move on you but it's weak enough that if you need to get in there and take it apart, you still can. So get that thread temporary or medium thread locker, and that'll be really, really good for you. I like 440C. Um, do I think it's worth $73 Canadian? Um, I don't know. Take $7 off and then it's 63 since you got that coupon code, and it's starting to look a whole lot more appealing. $63, yeah, I recommend this. No problem at all. But um, I'm willing to sell my Tanto version of this knife, and I'll show you a picture of it right now. I don't know why, but I can't find my actual Tanto knife right now. It's uh, black wash, black all over, black on the handle. I'm also willing to sell this one. Each of them, $45 US. That's if it's in Canada. If you are in the United States or any other country in the world, I'm willing to sell them for $50 US shipped to your place. I absorb the shipping costs. If you buy both of them, I'll give you $5 off to help, uh, you know, just because I'm a good guy that way. After you email me, I will confirm if it's available for you and you must pay me within an hour or two. Otherwise, I'll go to the next person. Let's do some cut tests here. Uh, we've got a couple strands of nine strand paracord and it just zips through that very super easily. Uh, let's see how well it cuts on wood here. No problem, you just press down and you pop like popcorn. Bam, bam, bam. My wife's gonna get upset because I'm gonna have a messy floor. <laughs> I'll have to sweep up. And the edge is pristine still. No, pro very, very sharp. Yeah, cutting edge is just grabbing on my nail all the way along. No problem at all. And after that, let's do some cut tests on paper. Very, very nice cut tests. That's a push cut, just pushing on one spot. That's because it's very sharp. This is the factory edge on here. No problem. I very much like this knife. I just need the funds to help my mother still. Her cancer is just continuing chugging along. And uh, Ontario just doesn't pay all the expenses for the stuff she needs help with. And I just need help for this channel to keep it going as well. 
ceramic ball bearings in here. That's why this is so special. One of the reasons why this is so special, the ceramic ball bearings just make the day on this thing. It's nice and light, easy, squeezy to use. Looks great. Let's put it in the pocket and show you how it looks there. It just zips in the pocket, no problem. Zips out, you can hear it snap. The springiness of that pocket clip. It's not gonna destroy your pocket. It's not that tight, but it's tight enough to be just nice. Yeah, you've got about an inch sticking out. I wish it had those coil over pocket clips and maybe we can find one that fits in here. Who knows? If you know of one that fits here, please let me know in the comment section below. Better yet, email me at canadiancuttingedge at gmail.com uh, about those kind of pocket clips. That'd be really nice. I really like this knife. It looks good. It feels good. It locks up great. Um, it's light, easy to use, flips very, very easily. Uh, light switch or uh, push method, no problem. Either hand, um, it's just easy squeezy to use if I get my thumb out of the way instead of on the uh, frame lock. That's the one trick for lefties. If uh, you've got a frame lock like this, sometimes you push on our thumb on the frame lock arm and that can cause problems. So it's, you have to keep your thumb out of the way. <laughs> I tend to put it up on the pivot till it's out of the way. But Love this knife and I really wish I could keep it, but I do need to uh, keep the money spinning around so that, uh, you know, for all the things. Just a little bit of jimping inside there so it's easy to disengage the knife. A little bit of jimping on the flipper arm and that's it. Everything else is nice and smooth. All the edges are chamfered. You know, the titanium's awesome. Looks good, feels good. It's a wonderful knife for the price. I really wish I could keep this, but I can't. I will be sharpening it myself on my uh, super sharpening system, giving it pretty close to a mirror finish. Thank you so much for watching, people. Thanks for liking, commenting, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to check out that big sale at GearBest. Remember, cut towards your chum, not your blooming thumb.